Welcome to the UWA Careers and Employability Center Resume and Cover Letter Online Workshop. This workshop will help you to be better prepared to write your resume and cover letter to increase your chances of getting a job interview. This online workshop and quiz count for one point towards the UWA Careers and Employability Award. The award is a program in which you will gain practical real-world experiences, skills, and knowledge to embark on an enriching future career journey. All currently enrolled undergraduate, postgraduate, or higher degree by research students can apply for. The award program involves Employ 101 online modules Career developmental activities Experiential and supplementary career activities and a personal reflection. If you complete the award before you graduate, it will appear on your supplementary transcript. To find out more about the UWA Careers and Employability Award, you can head to worldwideweb.careers.uwa.edu.au slash award. Now, let's begin our workshop. Resumes and cover letters are career documents that are required when you are applying for a job. The purpose of the documents is to reflect your ability to perform the responsibilities of the role using evidence from your study, work experience, practicums, volunteering, and other extracurricular activities. Before you prepare your resume and cover letter, you need to have an understanding of your skills, attributes, values, and goals. The Careers and Employability Award will help you articulate your skills. By completing Employ 101 Module Activity 4, you will undertake a skills audit. LinkedIn Learning also enables you to conduct a skills audit. For more information, please go to the link shown on the screen. Prior to writing your cover letter and resume, make sure you have researched the company. Consider the company's branding, the language they use, and their target markets. Explore the company's values, mission statement, projects, clients, and any special causes. Use LinkedIn to research the company. Follow the company and read their news feeds. Find UWA alumni who already work there. Look at staff profiles. Do you have any first or second connections? Third, develop evidence of how you will fit into the role and the company. Think about your transferable skills and think about examples you can use to demonstrate these skills. Once you've done all the research, including a skill audit, you can start writing. Part 1. Resumes A resume, also known as Curriculum Vitae, or CV, is a summary of your education, experience, skills, and achievements. Your resume is often the first impression your potential employer will have of you, so it's one of the most important documents that you will ever create. Get your resume right, and you'll be on your way to securing an interview. Resumes should be short, well-researched, engaging, in chronological order, meaning the recent experiences should be listed first, and relevant to each job you are applying. Remember, you can include more information in your LinkedIn profile. Under the Skills section of your resume, you need to include both technical and transferable or soft skills. Examples of technical skills are the skills you have learned that are specific to your course. Check your unit outcomes on Handbooks UWA. This can be a useful resource to understanding the technical skills you have developed during your studies. Examples of transferable or soft skills are teamwork, initiative, critical thinking, problem solving, communication, and emotional intelligence. These skills are becoming increasingly important to employers, so make sure you include them. 
Always adopt a targeted approach when creating your resume by also including the skills based on the specific job criteria or position description you are applying for. Now, to writing your resumes. Keep it within one to two pages in length with consistent formatting throughout. Just like your cover letter, use one simple font like Arial or Calibri, 11 point throughout the document. Also, include page numbers. Keep in mind there may be a large number of candidates applying for the same job. Recruiters spend less than 15 seconds reviewing an individual resume. If your resume is longer than two pages, it may be discarded. Before writing your resume, research the company, as this allows you to tailor your resume to each position. This keeps the document engaging and it shows employers that you are using a targeted job search rather than sending a generic resume to numerous employers. Recruiters often use application tracking software, also known as ATS, that tracks keywords to identify candidates with desired skills and qualifications. You need to develop your resume and cover letter so it will get past the bots. Avoid using fancy fonts headers and footers and photos, as these can be incompatible with most ATS. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to get your resume past an ATS, which stands for Applicant Tracking System. Applicant tracking systems use technology to scan your resume to determine if you're a good match for the job. On average, 75% of resumes submitted are deleted by the ATS, and many times it's because the system can't read the resume, or the resume isn't optimized correctly. And with over 95% of large companies and over 50% of mid-sized companies now using ATS technology, you need to ensure your resume gets past the filters. Okay, enough with all these scary statistics. Here are five quick tips to help get your resume past an applicant tracking system. Tip number one, make sure you have the correct keywords in your resume that target the industry or job description. For example, if an accounting job description contains words such as Microsoft Excel, journal entries, and balance sheet, make sure you include those words on your resume, as the ATS may be searching for these keywords. Tip number two, always use a professional resume format such as a functional, reverse chronological, or a hybrid, which is a combination of both you should do some research and figure out which format suits you better. Tip number three, avoid fancy designs, colors, and images on your resume, as an ATS will have trouble reading it. Stick to a professional, clean, and concise resume. Tip number four, use a popular and professional font, such as Arial, Calibri, New Times Roman, or Georgia, as these are easy to read for an ATS. And lastly, tip number five, is to always send your resume as a Microsoft Word document, unless stated otherwise in the job description. A Microsoft Word document is easily processed by the ATS and is also the preferred format for the majority of employers. A typical resume consists of the following sections. Personal details, which includes your name, email, contact number, and LinkedIn URL. In Australia, we do not include profile photos, date of birth, or marital status. Your education history, your work and volunteer experiences, skills, both technical and transferable, and referees, including their job title, email, and phone number. You may also include other sections if they are relevant to the job position that you are applying for. These sections can include personal profile or career objective, professional memberships, extracurricular activities, achievements and awards, personal interests, and publications. The format of your resume depends on your previous experiences in education and the position you are applying for. If you have little or no relevant experience, have your education section first, followed by your skills section. For graduates with more experience, place your skills section first, followed by work experience and education. A sample resume can be found in Career Hub under Resources 
and on VMock Resume Checker. When you have created your resume, use vmock.com slash uwa to check through your resume. Then read through the detailed feedback and make any changes before submitting your job application. When you are applying for any job, you'll need to write a professional resume to help demonstrate how you are the best person for the role. But how do you write a good resume? VMock Resume Checker can help you. Go to vmock.com slash uwa and log in using your theme details. After you log in, look for the resume link on the left menu bar. A resume template and guidelines are also here in vmock to help you create a high quality resume. This is where you upload your resume. Before you upload, make sure your resume is in PDF format. Next, go ahead and click on the Upload Resume button and choose your resume file. Once the page changes, there will be a graph with your resume score. But the most important part is to read the detailed feedback. You will first be shown a summary of your feedback made up of three main factors, impact, presentation, and competencies. Click on View Detailed Feedback in order to see what you've done well and what you can do to improve your resume. Aim to achieve a score above 75 to 80 percent. If you are not sure how to create a winning resume, attending a resume workshop is a good place to start. Go to Career Hub and look under events to register for a resume workshop. Unless it's specified by the company, keep your resume simple, no longer than two pages, consistent and correctly formatted throughout the document. Don't forget, you have 10 free VMock uploads per year, so use it wisely. Please make all of the recommended changes to your resume and then re-upload your resume to check your score and feedback. Now, good luck with your resume and securing that interview. Part 2. Cover Letter Your cover letter is your opportunity to Introduce yourself Showcase your key strengths Demonstrate your suitability for the role Encourage the person to read your resume And invite you in for an interview there are three types of cover letters. The first is a speculative letter, where you ask to be considered for potential vacancies not currently advertised. The second is an application letter, which is in response to a job advertisement. The third is a why I fit in letter. Speculative cover letters. It is vital to incorporate the speculative approach in your job search, as around 70% of jobs in Australia are not advertised. By developing a speculative cover letter, you are trying to establish a connection with the organization to identify your value to the company, demonstrate from your research what you can offer, state what you are seeking, whether it is employment, volunteer work, or an internship, and demonstrate your understanding of the company. An employer may be impressed with your initiative and experience that they may create a position for you or if a vacancy arises, they already have your application. Many employers rely on keen students who take the initiative to write them to fill vacancies. Advertised application letters. You are responding to demonstrate your experience in response to the skills that are listed in the job description. You will structure your response using the SAO technique to respond. S is for situation. What was the situation? A is for action. What did you do and how did you do it? And lastly, O is for outcome. What was the result of your actions? A why I fit in letter is much less common. They tend to be short with all focus on what makes you the best candidate for the role. Use the company's values, mission statement, or strategic plan to assist in creating a letter that demonstrates your standout points or uniqueness. Here are the seven steps to write your cover letter. A cover letter template can be found in Career Hub under Resources. Step 1. Use business formatting for your cover letter. 
Use the same one simple font as your resume. For example, Calibri or Arial, 11 point with left hand justification. Make sure your content is clear, concise, and readable. Keep format consistent and format with no fancy colors or borders. Step two, personalize your letter as much as possible. Find out the name and the position of the person you are sending your cover letter to. Step three, keep your cover letter to a maximum of one page. And step four, aim to have four to five paragraphs of concise, easy to read text. Step five, address key job requirements and state the reasons why you want to work for the company. Step six, remember to include study, work, personal qualities, and other transferable skills. And finally, proofread your cover letter using Australian English. For example, in Analyze, use S instead of Z, and in Center, use RE instead of ER. Don't forget to check for any spelling or grammatical errors. You can also ask an independent person for feedback, as having a fresh set of eyes will help you to proofread the document. Let's look at an example of a cover letter together. The template can be found on Career Hub. Please remember, this is an example only. You must write your own experiences. On the top of your letter, make sure to include your phone name, contact details, including address, email, phone number, date, and LinkedIn URL. If you have the contact name, Address the letter to a person with Dear Mr. Mrs. or Miss. Otherwise, you can address it to to whom it may concern. In paragraph 1, introduce yourself, the position you are applying for, and how you heard about the job. In paragraph 2, talk about what drives you, your skills, values, interests, and why you want to work for the company. This is where your prior research of the company comes in, how you are the best candidate for the role. You can talk about your cultural fit in the organization because you have now developed an understanding of what they are looking for. The next few paragraphs detail your relevant skills and experience, making reference to specific jobs or tasks from your work or life experiences to demonstrate your skills and abilities using an SAO response. In approximately 250 words, demonstrate how you can meet the most important skill that is listed in the job advertisement. In approximately 150 words, demonstrate another key skill that is listed in the job advertisement that you can offer. Close the letter with a polite positive statement that invites the reader to contact you. Sign off with yours sincerely if you have used the person's name or use yours faithfully if you have used to whom it may concern. For more information on how to write your resume and cover letter or other careers and employability tips, visit uwa.careerhub.com.au and look under resources and search for fact sheets. You can also attend a face-to-face -face workshop. The Career Center also provides the following resources bmonk.com slash uwa, a resume and LinkedIn review platform, LinkedIn photo booth, biginterview.com slash uwa, and suit hire to wear for your interview. The Careers and Employability Center will also be available for drop-ins. It is located at ground floor of Student Central. Opens on Mondays to Fridays from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Thank you for attending our resume and cover letter online workshop by UWA Careers and Employability Center. We wish you all the best in your career.